Hi, Bob from Polygon here. In this video, we're going to look at how to properly light a scene with Polygon HDR textures in Cinema 4D with Redshift. Right, so this is the scene that we'll be using today. It's a simple scene of a little house. I've got a camera in there as well, which I'm actually going to jump into now. There we go. Um, I've assigned a basic clay material to all of the objects in the scene because we're just going to focus on the lighting today. Um, so yeah, let's get started. First of all, I'm going to go to the Redshift menu here, go to Lights, and then add in a dome light, which I'm going to call Lighting. Good. Now, from the main panel here, which I'll just drag up a little bit so we can concentrate on that, uh, we've got a path uh, input here, which is where we can put in our HDR. Now. I've got three different files to do with this, this HDR. I've got a 16K EXR, a 16K JPEG, and a 2K EXR, all of which we'll be using. But we're going to start off just by putting in the super high resolution, really high file size uh, 16K EXR. Like so. Now it will take a minute to process, mainly because of the, uh, the insane file size. And there we go. So if I run a quick test render, we'll, uh, we'll see what we get with the uh, lighting. Right, so there we go, looking good. Um, I'm going to slightly adjust the rotation. Now for some reason my uh, viewport isn't displaying the HDR, I'm not quite sure what's causing that. But I know just from experience that about here is where I want it. There we go, that's about where I want my lighting. I've got a, uh, some nice shadows being cast and uh, it's uh, yeah looking good. So we do have um, some issues though. First of all, the um, file size is a is a real hindrance. It's taking up about four gig at the moment just to light this scene, and that isn't really ideal considering it hasn't got any materials on it or anything like that. Um, and also, our background's tied into the lighting. So if I want the lighting in this exact sort of setup that I've got now. I have to have this kind of weird uh, out of scale building in the background which doesn't really work with the scene. So we're going to do something to fix both those problems. First of all I'm going to replace the lighting, uh, the 16K, with the 2K, okay? Like so. And if I render that again we'll see that the, the actual lighting quality really isn't affected even though this file is drastically smaller um, and lower quality the actual difference in the lighting is almost zero yeah but the background is noticeably blurrier um, now it's not such an issue in this case because I'm going to be uh, rotating um, the background out of the way but if I was using a, a HDR where I wanted to keep some background elements maybe some trees or, or whatever um, it would be very, very noticeable that we're using a low resolution file. So to fix that, what we're going to do is add in another dome light. But first of all, on this lighting one, I'm going to disable background. And what that will do is stop the back, the, uh, you won't physically be able to see the HDR, it'll literally just be lighting the scene. So now when we add in a, another dome light, which I'm going to call background, we can set this one to be the 16K JPEG. Now, even though this is super high resolution, it's still a relatively small file, uh, at least compared to the EXR, which will be ideal for, for using as our backdrop, which is what we're going to do. So I've left background enabled, but what I will do is jump over to Ray and turn off Effects, Diffuse, and Specular. So what that basically means is the JPEG is going to have absolutely nothing to do with the lighting. It's literally just going to provide the backdrop. So if I render now, there we go, you'll see the scene lighting hasn't changed, even though the angle of this uh, this JPEG is completely different to what we had. The lighting is being controlled by the previous dome light, yeah? With this new dome light is literally just providing our backdrop. So with that done, all we need to do is rotate it to somewhere that we like, which I think about there might be good. Nope. Maybe a bit more. <laughs> it's really annoying not having the, uh, the the live preview working. 
almost there. So it's a little bit more in that direction and I'm also going to rotate it down just a tad. We should, there we go. So I've now got a nice blue sky and it hasn't affected the direction that our lighting's going from whatsoever. Yeah, yeah, that's looking good. So in summary, we've taken some HDR files from polygon.com, brought them into Cinema 4D, set up two redshift dome lights, one using a low resolution EXR to light our scene, uh, and the other using a high resolution JPEG to provide the backdrop. And we've rendered all this out in redshift.